mother and I. Got it. Welcome back to the infamous Sex Games Challenge, you motherfucking nerds, geeks, and dorks. I'm your host with the most big fears, and today we have a very special episode for you. We're going, we're going to be going live directly to Italy with Rachel and Ryan, who are there on vacation. They prepared a little uh, vacation video for us to see, but spoiler alert, you know, you can uh, put away the Vaseline tissues for now. It's not what you think, motherfuckers. Anyway... You may know Rachel and Ryan from previous challenges such as Your Mother Knows, Any Dog Goes, and Marathon Blows. But this time, they will take their sex game to that next fucking level that very few ever get to. But I uh, can't spoiler any shit right now, so stay tuned and we'll be going live very soon. For those viewers who are tuning in for the first time or who uh, suffer severe memory loss from severe masturbation, I recommend you watch the previous episodes to realize just to what extent these couples go to to degrade themselves in front of you for the cash prize. Cash rules everything around me, cream get the money, dollar dollar motherfucking bills, yo. So the point is, you fucking self-deprecating nerds who haven't seen pussy since pussy saw them, stay tuned buy massive loads of fucking Johnson & Johnson baby oil and have fun. Click on your donations, because without your fucking donations, these people would probably die of starvation. Because all they do is fuck all day long. No one works. No one goes to fucking school for a better future. These fucking sexual addicts need you, chronic masturbators, to survive. Your donations are fundamental to the ultimate sex challenge. Now, you may have seen them jerk off their classmates unbeknownst to their teacher with the hidden cameras. You might have seen them flashing in public elevators. No sexual act is too low. So how low will they go? We will show you very soon. We have a short video to show you from the last leg of Ryan and Rachel's Euro trip fuck fest coming from Italy now, but spoiler alert, it's not what you think. So you might want to wait on getting the Vaseline and tissues, you fucking sexually depraved animals.
So, what do you want? I, I never know what to order. Vegetarian? Uh -huh. No. Do you think I need to eat a salad? I'm, so, I'm sorry. You think you need a salad? Never saw that. Mm. Uh, we don't. Pizza. Again, pizza. Really didn't know. Okay. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Cosa vi posso portare? Le chiederei un, un, un piatto della casa. Va benissimo per lei. Sei? Okay. Lo stesso. Allora, pochi minuti. Grazie, grazie. Grazie mille. Today we celebrate. And what are we celebrating for? Our success in the last challenge. You were fantastic yesterday. Oh, <laughs> honey, I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Honey, listen this. For the lovers of the extreme, a new challenge. If you'll brave this, you'll win the prize of 10 grand. Mm. The challenge is, record yourself in an act of love inside of a royal palace. Mm -hmm. The video must be uploaded two days from now. Good luck and make the best couple wins. Well, we already won. We're in Italy. There are more historic monuments here than in the rest of the world. And how hard can it be to find a royal one? Perfect. Yeah. Mm. Find it. The nearest one is half an hour away from here. They'd better prepare the money bags. <laughs> we already won. Signori, buona appetita, grazie. Another clothed one? Seriously? Forget the price. What we do now? Don't worry, we'll find another way, okay? Yeah? How? I don't know, check the rules. See if there's some kind of caveat we can exploit. No, no, no. Okay. Um. If you're unable to shoot the video because of closed or crowded location, mm -hmm. the only way to complete the challenge is to go from riches to rags. You have to find an isolated location with a creepy past full of unsolved mysteries. The price for the alternative solution is of six grants instead of ten. That's fair. Well, we're in Italy, aren't we? We'll yeah. find a place, the outskirts of the towns are full of strange and creepy places. Well, let me check. Yeah. Well, uh, Black Magic Triangle? Boring. Satanists? I'd rather not. Devil's Bridge? I'd rather not mess with him. <laughs> For second village, this may be the one. Abandoned location in the Alps, located near the old nuclear power plants. Their radiation levels are safe, but in the 70s and 80s there have been many lost people and a lot of work-related injuries. Sounds good. Sounds 
dangerous. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm sure it's because of the boss who was kind of screwed, who didn't want to pay for security checks, or some mobster who wanted some sweetness to disappear. Come on, we'll be fine. If you say so. Okay. Let's go. Come on, let's hop in the car. You know you always hear that these little mountain towns are full of strange, creepy, interesting people. I only see old geezers. Only old people. Yeah. Oh look, we got to the cable car. Finally. <laughs> again and then once again in the parking lot. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Strange weather. It was sunny before, just a few minutes ago. It's cloudy. We're in the mountains. One minute might be sunny, the next might be cloudy, the next might be raining. Mm -hmm. Rain the next. <laughs> you. Uh, okay. Let's go. Hello? Excuse me, sir. Could you give us some information, please? I'll take it as a yes. Um, we are trying to go to the Bandon village. Can you tell us if this is the right cable car to go there? Why? Because it will be so kind of you to tell us. Why do you want to go there? No one goes there. Especially to city losers like you. Excuse me. We want to go there because we want to go there. And I think it's none of your business. You're right. It's not my business. But you should listen to me. No one goes there. It's been decades now. In the 70s, this whole area was nuclear power plant. But then greed. Greed changes everything. And sooner or later, hits you in the back. There were a few accidents. But for the community, it was okay. Few questions, a lot of work, a lot of money. But then, people start dying. It was the water, it was the air. Oh, the old area was quarantined. People could not escape. People start dying. They were hunting each other. People were dying. Children were born with disease. The death was all around the mountains. 
You should not go there. Don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Charming. I think we'll be on our way. You're being very kind. Have a lovely day. Wait, wait, wait. Take this. It's for the radiation. If you hear it, run. Riveting. Have a lovely day. Thank you kindly. Dare you, this freaking thing doesn't work. Oh, just worry, we'll just look around, we'll find something. It can't be this far off. Well, we can always go back. We can go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty high, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> we are. Just imagine how we would be to. Oh! <laughs> 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 Now we walk. What? Um, I'm not dressed up for hiking in the woods, you know? If you prefer, we can just go back and screw the challenge. No. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right way? I think so. Before this freaking thing stop working, it says that place should be one mile away from here. Fine. One place is good as any other to just land a tent and... It's something. <laughs> This is a nice one. Um, yeah? <laughs> so, how about we plan the tent here and start practicing for our challenge? <laughs> Sounds nice. Welcome back to the Sex Game Challenge, you motherfucking degenerate sickos and sickettes. I'm your host with the most, Vic motherfucking Pierce. Last time we tuned in, it was getting kind of hot in here because our horny fucking couple, Rachel and Ryan, were trying to break in to the Royal Palace of Turin for the grand prize of ten motherfucking thousand dollars U.S. If you're lucky, it might take off something else, you know what I'm saying? Nah, just joking. Anyway, since that didn't go down, some, car, some guard caught them. Since that didn't go down, since some fucking bastard guard caught them, they decided to go for the second grand prize of 6K, which is, remember, huh? 
to fuck in a haunted town. Now, I personally believe in those motherfucking ghouls and ghosts. I don't know about you guys, but the idea of them watching as they get it on kind of makes me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's go. Oh, we we uh, we see that Rachel finally found some signal. So let's go live to them and uh, get a little update on their fucking progress. Hello, guys. What's up? So apparently we arrived in this Lost Woods for the challenge, and. We couldn't take the challenge at the Royal Palace because it was closed. So tomorrow we'll do the challenge in an abandoned village. Uh, there, my big man is planting the tent for us tonight. Hello, how's it going? Fuck! Oh, poor thing, oh no! Oh, my little thing, no. Told you, I, I would have met. See? Told yeah. you. Guys, look, this is my man. Mm -hmm. He planted the tent. So good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye. See you tomorrow. What's here? Don't go. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Hello? Is anyone there? Is anyone there? <laughs> so we can have a laugh together, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? 
j just outside. I was just here. I was just here. I was so scared. I'm here, okay? I'm here. It's fine. Everything's fine. Rachel, I'm here. What the fuck is this? Don't, don't touch it! Maybe it's the thing we saw tonight. God, I'm still shivering. Probably it's just some, some child who thinks it's funnier than he is. The weirdo. The guy at the cable car. He shot at something, but. There you have it. Must be him or his son. They woke up in the night and thought it would have been so funny to pull a prank on us. What a fucking sense of humor. Indeed. Honey, let's finish this challenge and go away from here ASAP. Indeed, again. Just. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Fuck off the idea of dressing up like this. Because we are going to Hollywood party. You're right. But we have to do this for the followers. Screw the followers. If I have bristles under my feet, you'll carry me, okay? Love, we have to keep going. We barely have enough money on our account to pay for the gasoline to go back home. Also, I can already hear the river, so we are close. We find the right place, we shoot our video, we win the challenge, we win the six grand, and we go back home. Happy and rich, right? Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Welcome back to the ultimate sexual online experience, you chronic fucking degenerate masturbators. Last time we tuned in to Rachel and Ryan, they had very poor signal and they were looking for an abandoned house in the ghost cannibal town of Scholze to perform their final uh, sexual challenge. And any moment now, well, any moment now, they'll be sending us their final sex challenge tape. So uh, get the baby oil, Vaseline, tissues, and donations ready because without your sweet little contributions, we wouldn't be here right now. So thank you and fuck you very much.
Here you have it. Abandoned village. Uh huh. But it is perfect for, for the challenge. I didn't exactly get what happened here. Just know that at one certain point everyone left. Intriguing, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's kind of scary. Well, let's find a small place where to do the challenge. Let's go. Ryan. Hello there. Trips. Hey! Come back here, you asshole! Hey! Asshole, where are you? Oh, fuck's sake.
Adrian. Rachel. Where were you? We have to go. Well, don't leave her. Leave no, me no, alone. No, no, no. We have to go. Now. What happened? I chased the thing down to the river. There was blood everywhere. Blood? We, I think someone died there. We have to go. Now, okay? Give me this. Go. Go, go, go. Go. Here. Let's go. Where's the fucking tent? No. Fuck! No. Must have been the thing. Honey, I'm exhausted. What are we going to do now without our stuff? The cable car ain't far. Come on. There's no signal. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we can... We can start walking down the mountain, okay? We find a house or a farm or who knows what and we'll ask for a phone, all right? Okay, it's fine. I don't know what happened. Uh, we are suffering some technical difficulties, it seems, because uh, we were told that the video would be arriving shortly and uh, it uh, has not arrived. Now, whether it's the poor uh, signal they have in the ghost town of Scholze, Italy, or God knows what happened. Uh, we don't know. Uh, I see from the comments below that there's great anticipation. I see from the comments below, unfortunately, uh, I am very sad. I'm very, I, I'm, I'm more than sad. I am aggressively fucking pissed off that this fucking video hasn't arrived yet. Our viewers are there with their cocks in hand just waiting for this fucking thing to be uploaded any second now. The anticipation is not only killing me, but it's making me extremely fucking horny. I'm gonna go and ask my assistant to fucking jerk me off in the moment because I can't take this shit no more. I don't know what to say. These things are not supposed to happen. It's not professional of them, but hey, 
Maybe they got caught in the shit storm. Maybe uh, they couldn't find the proper house. We're fucking on the street. Some neighbor saw them and shot them with a fucking salt air rifle. We don't know. We don't know. The moment we know, you have my word. You have Vic Fierce's fucking word. I just have one word like my balls. I don't break them from fucking nobody. You got me one word that my word, which is worth its fucking weight and fucking cock. So, as we greatly anticipate the arrival of Rachel and Ryan's final sex challenge tape, I have to address some of the comments below, especially this one comment from SugarCube69, complaining that the show is not professional. SugarCube69, you fucking degenerate, degenerate cock-sucking, low-life, no-sex-having piece of fucking shit. We see that you contributed only 10 euros in the past month, and you've been masturbating to our fucking show for 12 months. That's not even fucking one euro a month. That's nothing. You're fucking nothing. Your mom is nothing. Your father is nothing. You're fucking disgusting. You're a degenerate fucking cock in hand. Never saw pussy since pussy saw you. Degenerate fucking cock sucking, monkey licking, ball snatching, cockroach up the ass fucking shit. I only have the fucking word to describe you. I've been giving you the best fucking underground content on the web, you cock-sucking piece of shit I've ever fucking seen. And this is the fucking thanks that you show me because of a technical delay, which has nothing to do with the show. Are you serious? Actually, you know what? SugarCube69, you've been officially blocked. Actually, probably didn't even see the last of my fucking sentence because I already blocked you midway through the fucking sentence. Fuck you and the hole you came from. So, I'm interested in knowing your own personal sexual experiences. Where's the craziest place you ever fucked? And with who and why? Is there a why? Or are we just animals? Drugged by a deep desire, instinct-based desire to just procreate. And society made shit complicated for us. You can't fuck here, you can't fuck there. You need permission. Get the fuck out of here. So that's all for tonight's masturbation session on the world famous sex games challenge. My name, as you well know, the host with the most, the Vic Fears, and everyone out there, suck my fucking dick. Remember the challenge. Credit challenge. I just want to go home and take a shower and uh, and and sleep in a comfy bed in a four-star hotel room. And how are we supposed to pay for the stars and the room and the bed without the money of the challenge? Just find a way to take back my butt to town. And I'll find a way to earn some money, in a way or another. There, you see? A house already. Mm. Nothing to worry about.
Wait. What if that creature sleeps here? We have to. Get in, find a phone, get out. Let's be quiet. There might be someone here. What kind of a place is this? Oh. This one is atrocious. something just dust here.
Alter. There are drawers under the table. Try and look if you can find a knife or, or something.
to leave you. You have to go. That thing's an hunter. I'm losing too much blood. He'll track us down. I'm, I wouldn't just pray. No, no. Uh, hey, hey, stay, stay here, okay, okay, I have an idea, okay? What is it? Trust me, I'm here.
Welcome back to the motherfucking Sex Games Challenge. I'm your host with the most, Vic motherfucking fears. And unfortunately, as Shakespeare once said, shit does happen. And uh, when it happens, uh, you gotta make the most with it. And on with the next one. Show must go on. So, Brian and Rachel. Last we heard from them, they were headed to the cannibalistic uh, ghost town of Scholze, Italy for their uh, second grand prize of 6,000. But something must have happened. The video never came through. We hope they came because if you don't come, what's the point of fucking life, right, you sexual sickos? <laughs> point being, the show must go on. So we're looking for new participants here on the very famous casting couch, if you know what I mean, for the Sex Games Challenge. Some of the new challenges include Golden Shower during Golden Hour for our film enthusiasts. You know, the Golden Hour is either uh, at sunset or dawn where the light is just perfect to get peed on. Having said this, oh, and we have the uh, <laughs> the fan favorite request. Uh, we must have a lot of uh, Fight Club enthusiasts amongst our fellow masturbators. The masturbating in the in the mashed potatoes, the mashed potato masturbation session in a three star restaurant or more. You fucking whore. Because the point is, it's too easy to masturbate in the local diner where they probably know you at midnight. You want to go in the jam-packed, in the center of town, restaurant, good Yelp reviews, and find a way of getting to the kitchen and masturbate. That's not as easy as it may sound. I know because I tried a few times in my earlier days. So, do you have what it takes? Do you have what it takes to be a winner with your wiener here on the sex games challenge because if you do send us your cock pics and pussy fucking pics at the email address below and get ready to blow for the show